Take a seat. And then, uh, for your information, the event will be streamed, mostly the speaker, but there might be some turns in the crowd. If nobody objects, if you object, it's easier if you go sit in that corner. There are still some two, two chairs left there, but uh, mostly the speaker will be shown. So uh, I will start that stream now, and then uh, President of Fire Party Luxembourg, Sven Plummer, will give some uh, welcoming messages. So let me see that we start the stream. We'll see how it works. So, also if I may ask, if you use the public Wi-Fi here, uh, try to refrain from downloading too much, or if possible, disconnect, so our stream is able to send our messages out into the world. So, if you don't need to use your phone, uh, try to restrain the internet use for one and a half hours, I think even pirates can manage it. <laughs> so, this is the check, there is the stream. I also ask you again to uh, try to stay calm, let uh, the speaker speak, because we don't have a microphone, and we go over the audio of the camera, so that the people hear from the stream what is being talked about. We need some quiet room, and there are a lot of people here. That's happy. Uh, that's a good. Uh, that's. I'm happy to see that, and I'm hoping that we can get uh, some people over the stream too. So thanks, and I give over to Sven. Yeah, welcome to Luxembourg uh, to the last and uh, thus final PPU conference before the um, formal foundation in Brussels next year in March. Um, I'm very proud as president of the Pirate Party of Luxembourg to welcome you here uh, just shy of our fourth birthday which will happen on the 9th of October and just uh, shy of our first participation in national elections which will happen 11 days later on the 20th of October. So for us this is a big moment. This is like something we ever always wanted since the foundation of the party. But today is also a historic thing. Today, 50 years ago, Robert Schumann, one of the founding fathers of the EU, born only 1.3 kilometers away from here, um, died. So um, this is actually, I believe, also a good date to continue on the path to more involvement into European processes. Already at the beginning, at the foundation of the Pirate Party of Luxembourg, the party was international. We had international help at the founding event with 14 German and Swiss pirates that simply dropped by and told us how to write statutes. <laughs> Thank you again. <laughs> this led to the bizarre situation where the Luxembourgish statutes were for almost one and a half years better than the German ones. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, cooperation can actually help. I think the pirates are a movement that has as a motto, think global, act local, Act, act local, sorry, and cooperate. Those three things, well, I believe, are the core tenets of the pirate movement. We are always called a movement of pirates because, uh, yeah, everybody knows where the name came from, so I won't delve into the historics of the name. But being a global movement, a movement that wants to attack the problems of the 21st, and why not maybe even the 22nd uh, century, this can only be done globally. But we should never forget that politics need also to be done locally. If you only think global and never act local, you will not know any success. Because finally, the people are still voting locally. We have some propositions to change at least a bit of that, but not everything at once. 
So the cooperation part is the, is the most important one. And today, this event actually leads to more cooperation in the European Pirate Movement. We already know PPI, Pirate Parties International, which is like the big elephant. And I hope that the PPU is, will be more like a more agile uh, animal. <laughs> Those that are involved in PPI know what I mean. <laughs> so I hope that in 25 years, or why not 50 years, we can meet up again and we can look back at today and say, well, we were part of something historic. We were part of the last step to the founding of Pirate Party Europe. So I wish you all the best. We still have some voting to do. After that, we will have the signing. And then you are free to stroll around, visit Luxembourg, and have a nice day. Thank you very much. <laughs>
You will have to correct your spelling and your last names afterwards. Very thick Go ahead. <laughs> Next country. Uh, so it's Paul from Belgium. P A U L. <laughs> Next country. Uh, Greece. Uh, Antonios. Next country. Catalonia. Juan. J U A N. Next country. Cyprus. Fotios. Next country. Italy. Russia. Lola. <laughs> Next country. Italy. Germany. Next country. Switzerland. Whatever the dream, whatever the dream. Speak louder. Okay, Gregory, which country? Finland. <laughs> <laughs> that was amazing. Next country. Sweden, Amelia. Next country. Germany, Marcus. Uh, do we have any other countries present? There. There is. No, it's map. It's just for the vote before the. That uh, I got a mail from the Polish part. Yes, but it's for the for the signature. So this is not for voting. Okay. You counted sixteen. Yes, but some people will retract in the match. I also got a mail. Uh, the well, somebody got an SMS from. Uh, Croatia, so this is also just for signing. I for didn't ask anyone about voting, so. Okay, good. Okay, then we have the list of people voting. So you will be the guys raising your hands when you're in favor, and uh, also raising your hands if, if you're against when I ask for that. Uh, let's go to. Well, you see, we have one, two, three statutes, manifesto, and membership. We have two amendments to the statutes. And we have one proposal. The proposal is to approve the statute's draft on the wiki that you've seen this morning as a statute for the European Pirate Party and invite all European Pirate Parties who are eligible to become ordinary members to sign and ratify these statutes. That is the proposal. Then we have two amendments to that proposal. And that first amendment, Amendment A, is to change all references of uh, chairperson by spokesperson and all references of vice chairpersons to vice spokespersons. That is the amendment A. Then we have amendment B, that is to add line, the candidate with the lowest number of votes will not be eligible for subsequent rounds of voting. Into article 17, after the sentence, the number of candidates shall be double the numbers of positions still needing to be filled. These are the amendments to proposal one. We will now vote on them. We will first vote on the amendments, and then we will vote on the proposals with and the amendments that have been accepted. So. Amendment 1. Who are in favor of Amendment 1? Proposal 1 or Amendment A? Amen sorry, 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 you're correct. Amendment A. This is why I separate numbers and letters, so I would not mix them up. Amendment A. Who's voting in favor of Amendment A? Uh, who's voting against Amendment A? Amendment A has not passed. Amendment B. Who's voting in favor of Amendment B? Who's voting against Amendment B? Amendment B has not passed. Proposal 1. The full proposal without amendment since they didn't pass. Who's in favor of Proposal 1? Who's against Proposal 1? Proposal 1 is statutes. <laughs> Let's read it, redo this. Proposal 1 is to approve the statutes yes. draft, ask the statutes for the European Pirate Party, and invite all European Pirate Parties who are eligible to become ordinary members to sign and ratify these statutes. Basically, we will create an organization by approving this. Who is in favor of Proposal 1? <laughs> Anyone against Proposal 1? Any abstentions? Any abstentions? <laughs> proposal 1 has passed unanimously. Yep. Now we are at Proposal
proposal two. There's no amendments. Proposal two is to approve the manifesto and add it as an annex to the statutes of the European Pirate Party. Who are in favor of proposal two? Who's against? Abstentions. I find that we unanimously approve proposal two. Climax on the end. Proposal three, <laughs> membership phase. <laughs> uh, proposal three is to decide that the basic membership fee for European Pirate Party for 2014 shall be 300 euro. Who is in favor of proposal three? Be, uh, membership for uh, parties or membership for parties. parties. Who is against? Abstentions. I find that we pass proposal three as well. Organization. There is nothing between standing between us and the start of the European Pirate Party. Thank you. Some warm greetings from Schleswig-Holstein. <laughs> 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 Just one second. Uh, I won't be me, <laughs> but I will be the one making sound. Um, we have, uh, we are fortunate in Germany to have entered four regional parliaments, uh, which means that we have people like Nico here among us sitting in the um, committees. And here, sorry, um, uh, committees uh, handling European affairs. Alexander, <laughs> sorry again. <laughs> that was bad. That was bad. That was bad. <laughs> yeah, well, I come from the same region, and you go. That's why. I only <laughs> sorry about that. Well, one of the one of the person missing then is uh, someone from the fourth region, um, Schleswig Holstein. We have a small fraction there of six people, and um, Angelika uh, is one of our. Um, politicians with the most experience since she is one of the founding uh, members of the Greens. Uh, what luck you see she is such yeah, a member, former member of the European Parliament. So um, somebody whose was seniority um, made her prime candidate to uh, say some words on this occasion. Unfortunately she can't be here, so I'll be reading a speech. Dear Pirates gathered in Neumünster Abbey, Luxembourg, my name is Angelika Beer, and sadly I have to announce that none of us, the six pirates in the parliament of the German federal state of Schleswig Holstein, could make it to attend the conference. Nevertheless, with this message, we want to express our solidarity and accordance with the founding of a European Pirate Party. Let me assure you that in Schleswig Holstein, as among German Paris generally, you are well recognized and that we welcome the manifesto as agreed upon at the Warsaw Conference. The English word pirate is originally derived from the Greek word pirate, which translates as experience or attempt. 
we deeply welcome the ongoing attempt to bring the pirates' experience to the European level as a European pirate party. As I said, my name is Angelika Weh. I am currently a member of parliament in the northernmost German federal state, Schleswig-Holstein, but I used to be a member of the European Parliament some years ago. This is why I personally enjoy the founding of a European Pirate Mart Party so very much. Europe needs a spirit. Let me briefly give you one example of why our way of thinking will be a substantial benefit to the European politics. I will give this example from my everyday political work, and I'm pretty sure we all got some examples like these. Firstly, I want to point out clearly that it is no longer to be taken silently what is going on at our European borders right now. Every week, frightened people, innocent people, people searching for shelter and refuge, die at our borders. And we respond with building higher walls and tougher fences. We increase the criminalization and surveillance imposed on those refugees instead of welcoming and sheltering them. As United Nations Charter, Fundamental, fundamental human rights and our constitution would commend us. On the other hand, inside Europe there is migration as well. As long as there have been societies with unequal distribution of wealth and privileges, there has been migration. This is not gonna stop now. We should face that fact of human societies and stop criminalizing migration immediately. We need to close the gap of unequal wealth and privileges and thus we need to rethink the concept of multi-speed Europe, putting more effort into creating social coherence throughout all of Europe. This is what democracy is about, and this is what we pirates remind the other parties of again and again. I want to make it very clear that I believe these lines of actions are not only compelling, but also profoundly within the very nature of a pirate party's program. They are a solemn matter of liberty, civil rights, and human dignity, as pointed out in the Warsaw Manifesto of the Pirate Party. Moreover, Europe has to come to understand that it will ultimately fail if it doesn't manage to uphold these values. And I believe that the European Pirate Party will be a crucial asset to that development. Thank you. Our best wishes go with you while walking on these tasks. <laughs> so, uh, of course, um, I think it's time to go to the main event, signing, that's why you're here. Uh, before we can do that though, I need uh, names of those people who are signing, so I can print out our signing page and uh, make this all official. So again, uh, we will go through the list because here too there will be some part parties uh, that will be signing that were not voting earlier. So, uh, if possible, it might be easier if you're able to get here and write your name than to spell me the name. And maybe we should go this way around uh, to crash and cut off. Yes. Bonus points for queuing in order. But wait, wait. <laughs> sorry, sorry. Not, not everybody at once. I was. Uh, let's so let's go up. from uh, Belgium first. So B A U L. B A U L. B O S S U. So okay. I've also received a message from Holland, from Dutch. Yes. Uh, I can read it at the end when you finish. So they okay. will not be, but they have sent two sentences apart. Okay, Gregory, you will be Finland. Pirate <laughs> <laughs> Party, Party France will be represented by uh, Yannick, okay. <coughs> Do you want English names or what a national name? Gregory, this. Alles, yes. alles, was, was mit 
ähm, so Latin 1 geschrieben werden kann. Das ist ein Latin 1. Das ist ja keine Sonderzeichen. Das ist ein Latin 1. Das ist für Cyprus. Ja, ja, ja. 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 I'm, so, I'm really sorry, but I think... <laughs> <laughs> I'm really sorry. Uh, you you could have an easier name to spell. Okay. Um, you can write, try to write it yourself? Yeah, I can try. Because it also is a... Uh-oh. One more to close out and use it. Uh, you should see it here. Find the shortcut. You should see it here too. One second. Which letter are you? I'm looking for the U, uh, the Norwegian U. Uh. Oh, oh, maybe oh. it should be <laughs> the NATO alphabet. Why don't you Google it and copy paste it in? Yeah, that's what I was, I was going to suggest. It's going to be a faster. No, it's not true. What? It's not true. It's probably going to do exactly the same thing. Okay, just Google it. It's faster. How do you use that in one? Sherry, you can't ask if there's a lot of people in the world. Oh, you have. Paul, are you not signing for the computer? Yes, but I want to ask you with the name of writing because it's just because we have not ah, yeah. uh, 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 a And now copy paste that. So <laughs> copy -paste. I can't have copy paste it. I'm actually that model. No compost. Ah. Ah. Cyprus, Photios Amad, 
Uh, do you have Greek letters? <laughs> Representing Fire Party Poland. Radek, I'm from Radek Pietron, but I want to put his name. Radek Pietron. I'm part of you, but I'm Radek Pietron. You have to decide. Like, what did you? I want his name. His name? Do what you want. Yeah, you. In order. Do what you want. Just sign in order. Radek Pietron. This is open, this is transparency because it's about what we're talking here. Because there's also a yeah. special yeah, letter. There's also a special letter, yeah. <laughs> And then you can put represented by me if you want. Yeah. Like this? Represented, represented by all. Okay. Um, Croatia, right? Croatia. Also for the letters. Croatia. Can you try? Yeah, uh, yeah. Croatia is with a C. 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 But first, write it up with your name. Did you write the name? <laughs> She did write you an SMS. Yes. Oh, yeah. We should change the statute. Yeah, that's true. I think that we need to just spell it like this. I'm just taking care of the paper. Uh, so if you just wouldn't have used Microsoft Word. 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 Is there any other party party that were... Does this represent it? That wasn't on the list yet? I just one sentence from the Dutch party. The Dutch will read this one sentence. But is there anybody else who got... Two hours ago, some message representing a pirate party now. <laughs> okay. I think there are also there some. Yes. It's okay. Full of On the S of Masha, you need something. It's it's not on my keyboard. I think. Is it this thing? Which one? I think it's that thing. I think it's. Oh, it's moving. Figure it away. If you go to Facebook, you will see it. Jerry, can you like check the songs of the Mandy and the songs of the
So, we are ready for signing. Um, what you can do now, what time we have. Okay, so uh, when you come forward, we go just how it is uh, on the paper. Uh, first it was alphabetically, and then at the end I added the parties that just were a bit late with the registry. So that's the order. I don't think order is important. So uh, we uh, will call first the Pirate Party of Belgium to sign. And um, if you come forward, uh, you are allowed. You can have a few minutes and present your party. Uh, but be short uh, about that part. What's more interesting is uh, uh, Pirate Party Europe. If you want to say three words about that, about your approach to Pirate Party Europe, in your party, you can do that. So. Uh, I call Pirate Party Belgium, Paul Bossu. Yeah. So. so hi all. What? Hi Pirates, hi journalists, hi everyone. Well, first of all, a little, some words from the Pirate Party of uh, the Netherlands. Uh, it was too short on time for them, but they just sent two sentences. The board of the Dutch Pirate Party regrets not having had enough time to put the PPEU statute to a national vote. However, they are very interesting and positive about the current evolution of the Pirate Party of Europe and expresses their intent to discuss both the status and the manifesto to the next General Assembly. They would very much like to be involved in a positive cooperation on a European level and look forward to the next opportunity to reach it. <coughs> so that was from the Netherlands. Uh, about Belgium, uh, we are very happy. Uh, about this project because we are also in Belgium uh, founder of the Europe and uh, we have many communities, many languages so for us it was very important to do it at the European level uh, so I hope it will be a very good success and that everyone will be totally involved on this project thank you Is, uh, Pirate Party Catalonia. Good afternoon. Um, as you may know, there's some conflict between Catalonia and the rest of Spain at the moment. Even though this is difficult, we're trying in a way that this conflict does not affect the pirate movement. And we're, even though the rest of Spain is not here today, we're from our side trying to join forces and hopefully in a couple of conferences time we will all be here together. And this effort that we're making now to be involved in the European Pirates since the very first moment will be useful for them as well. And we're looking forward to this whole movement um, to be really successful and build together not only the, this list of parties, but many more. Thank you. The next one is Pirate Party Finland. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Very Finnish looking guy. Yes, you would. Du sollst bitte zuerst seine Partei vorstellen. I'm just saying that it's like. Uh, you can see better. there's a lot of pens here. I can, apparently, I can keep one. <laughs> That's why I'm doing it. Um, so, um, welcome also. Um, Greetings from uh, the Pirate Party of Finland, who I think is the leading one in Europe of the Pirate Parties, uh, who already have selected the list of candidates for the European election 2014. So not, none of you guys done this, as far as I am informed. So I've been asked to represent um, Pirate Party of Finland on this event and sign on their behalf. Um, they tend to be a little bit off geographically from the rest of the main Europe, but uh, still um, the European topics are very important to them, and so um, as an expression, they already set a long way preparing to the coming European elections. And I'm happy to do so. And big greetings, and we hope that in future they will be fostering more international cooperation uh, between the Pirate Party of Finland and um, the rest of European Pirates. Yeah. 
historical pen. Yeah. I can keep it. <laughs> I will say it, say it on eBay on eBay in 20 years. <laughs> Next, Next is very fun. Next is very important. Sorry? <laughs> Next is Pirate Party France. <laughs> um, good afternoon, everyone. On behalf of the French Pirates, um, we would like to share with you our joy, enthusiasm, and hopes uh, about the, the European Pirate Party. Uh, we want to assure all of you that uh, all the French people, French Pirates especially, are looking forward to a great, um, a productive, and a rich cooperation with all of your Pirate Parties. And uh, we want just to tell you how we love the progress of the European Pirate Parties. And we will be. Um, we we want to tell you just that we will be able to count of the on the French, on the French Pirate Parties, and on the French Pirates. Thank you. themselves pirates popped up and um, this seems to be a phenomenon but we actually didn't really know and I think today we know it at least for all those pirate parties in in Europe that we um, have a manifesto and I passed it around uh, uh, with the German pirates and everyone says well this is a great text um, that you worked out in the last one uh, to two years and um, so this is the proof that when we signed this year and uh, found this party that we also not only are a strange phenomena where people start to call themselves pirates but have nothing to do with each other, that we really have a common basis that uh, we all agree on and uh, so I think it's proven that we are a global movement and this is a very, very great feeling. Um, yeah, greets from Germany and uh, let's rock on. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Next is Pirate Party Greece. Hello everyone. Uh, I'm very happy to represent Greece, the Pirate Party of Greece today in this conference. Uh, we are really, really looking forward to being part of this organization. Um, there is uh, one point that I like to highlight a lot to people, is that the Pirate values are especially relevant in Greece, and not the opposite. Um, I'm sure you're aware of the complicated relationship between Greece and the EU, <laughs> uh, which I can't comment right now because it's not the time or the place. Uh, however, um, I can say that a lot of shortcuts are being taken, to say the very least. Uh, so I think uh, the PPU, the European Pirate Party, or just European Pirates, uh, it will help us uh, get heard into more places. So I'm looking forward to this. Thank you. Uh, unfortunately, I'm alone. We are two people running around in Europe. We think it's uh, quite an important step. We are taking also taking part into this European thing and leveraging the participation 
to politics in Italy. That's our main objective. What moved us is the dramatic uh, generational conflict that we have in Italy because of the uh, recent past you know about and that created a divarium, especially also in engagement and in politics, that is really hard to fill. We also moved by uh, issues of digital liberties and uh, by a trying to foster an awareness about what does it mean to live also in a digital territory. So, of course, we are very pleased to have into the manifesto uh, mentioned the free software uh, and open source struggle and uh, we hope we can actually build one of the first uh, new generation European parties to actually move towards political unity. So thank you all for this. Would be me. Andrew. I already talk, talked a lot, so I, I will be short. I'm a little bit fascinated by the look of all of you, actually. It's a small observation, but I feel I'm the most colorful, except Jerry. <laughs> <laughs> so, so perhaps for the next meetings, um, next take. Yeah, no, I, I will come in black and you will come in colors. Is that a deal? <laughs> no, no, no. This is a color. Yeah, I'm waiting. So, no. I found that
Pirate Party. As has been reiterated in the past, the European policy uh, space isn't really homogenous, but I think, especially in digital issues, we see again and again that the issues faced at the European level and at the national level are virtually the same all over the world. That is why people can call themselves pirate and feel that they have something in common that gives them a cause and a reason to develop visions for the future. I'm therefore very happy that the organization of the European Pirate Party will be able to help not only the Swedish Pirate Party, but also more in general, where I normally work in the European Parliament, to get more representative of pirates that can connect the European debates with the issues that emerge at the national level and for which a lot of citizens and I think also a lot of institutions and organizations feel a lot of concern and need for political leadership and guidance. <coughs> so, without being too long, I will... So, oh, I have another mes message actually from the European Parliament and my Chief of Staff, which is that next year, leading up to the elections, we have uh, probably secured um, the possibility of organizing a conference for many pirates uh, from many different countries in the European Parliament, where we can provide for facilities over a weekend, where we can discuss our future cooperation in the next five years on how to make the European Union and, of course, the rest of the EFTA area also into a better place for mankind. Uh, political system in, uh, in Europe, and um, it stresses out the, uh, uh, the, the work that we have to do as a pirate party uh, in a very specific way. Things are already happening bottom up in Switzerland, so you have to go and convince people from really uh, the, 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 the citizen and try to convince him that the pirate party is a party that can look, that can be uh, in a parliament and a government, and that needs um, very specific uh, attention. And um, we are now in a in a, in a situation where um, we have to uh, we are gaining this kind of um, uh, momentum in Switzerland. And uh, I hope this will be useful for, for, the, for the rest. Um, the other point I want to point out is why Switzerland for us it's important to be here is that of course our population is um, about 30-40% of foreigners and mainly European citizens. So we are also uh, in the scope of this election uh, a big round for uh, voters and for candidates. So uh, we're happy to be here and to support and uh, we believe that uh, uh, EU uh, as a continent is the place that things have to be done together. Um, as Swiss, we're a bit, of course, uh, conservative always, that's traditional, so we uh, want to push from outside for better democratic rules within the EU, and then uh, we will uh, definitely uh, step in most feet inside the institutions. Thank you. <laughs> Party of Cyprus, represented by uh, Fotios Amanatidis. Was it right? That the answer no. That is my name. <laughs> Hi. I represent the Party of Cyprus, and it's a great pleasure for me to be here with you, um, signing these things where a lot of people have done a lot of work for the last years, and it's a great pleasure me to represent Cyprus since it's one of my jobs in the pirate movement to pick up the small parties and to try to push them, get connected with the rest of us and so it's a really, really great pleasure. Thank you Cyprus for being here. Thank you. The next 
Pirate Party of Poland. Poland. Yeah. Poland. 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 Again. <laughs> Nothing to add. It was just a concern by the fact that uh, the Polish uh, Pirates do a very, very good job in, uh, in Warsaw and it was not possible for them to come. So. Uh, I want that uh, the name of a Polish guy was also at the funding, but because the funding uh, was possible because of Warsaw. So that's why I put the name of Radek. Thank you for, for that. Name. Oh, we have the big for Radek. <laughs> Okay, so second last party party Croatia. I'm glad to be uh, able to represent my friends from Croatia or our friends from Croatia. Uh, the Croatian Pirate Party is a young party, but it already has a limited uh, electoral success. They have uh, two seats in one city district. So I think they're one of the rising stars of the international party. <laughs> Croatia has recently joined the European Union. However, the European Union is not popular in Croatia at all. But I can assure you that the pirates of, Europe, of uh, Croatia are very much in favor of European cooperation. And also, very important for that region, in regional cooperation within the former Yugoslavia. basic ideas. The pirate movement is not only an organization, it's not even a federation of organizations. It's a cultural identity. We all are pirates. Yes. And that's worldwide. That doesn't end with Europe. And we said earlier something about the European Union. Uh, that's true. Humanity is outside of the European Union, like in Norway and like in other countries. And so this PPEU thing is very interesting for European elections for collaborating on a European level. But let's not forget that there are countries outside of Europe. The Young Pirates of Europe were founded only a few weeks ago and we already want to get involved in the PPEU because we think age doesn't matter. We think that any citizen should be able to participate in the political system, to, contrib to contribute to society. And we really hope that together, Young Pirates and Pirates, we can work to change society, to change the world, and make it a better place for any human being. Thanks.
<laughs> there are still statutes to sign. <laughs> so we do it all again. No. <laughs> no, I ask every representative, I think that's better. Uh, if you want, uh, no, not if you want. If you sign the statutes, you come here and sign them. We have them here, so it's signed document two. Uh, I think you read a lot of them for the last year, so I don't think it's necessary to go all over it again. So uh, after the manifesto signing and the presentations, I think it's best to go ahead with signing this uh, one after the other when we're ready here, and then we are done. Yeah, we are done, or not yet, there's one more thing. As uh, somebody used to say, uh, the one more thing will be the conference then in Brussels next year. Um, I believe that Mark will uh, provide us all with the necessary details. Uh, no. As soon as possible. <laughs> <laughs> not, not now, but if you are ready to, to tell us something, you may do it now. If not, you can send us a mail. For all the rest of you, if I don't see you, um, around uh, because I still have to work on the election campaign. It was very nice that you are here. Um, this is an historic day and the historic importance of the day just became more important. So, have fun signing the statutes uh, and I'm sure the latest we will meet is in uh, Brussels. But I hope to see some of you the 20th of October on our election party, um, hopefully partying hard because we won one or two seats in Luxembourg. So here are the statutes. You can come and sign them now. Um, before every, before some people are leaving, before some people are leaving, I just want to say thank you to uh, Markus, Gregory, and Pirate Party Germany who are supporting us financially uh, by uh, organizing this conference. With organizing this conference, and thank you everybody for coming. And if you have, if you want to stay, uh, there's no rush, so uh, you can stay, discuss, and enjoy each other's company. <laughs> Uh, if you don't want to make me poor uh, and you ate something, come to me and give me money. I just came from Dresden. Traveling t shirt. From its funny pirate logo. You can see it. It's designed by the pirates here and then it can be sent to another community, perhaps somewhere else in Europe. Yes, we have a. Uh, Okay, ausgezeichnet. Los, weiter geht's. So, wunderbar. Hallo. Hast du das gerade alles gefilmt? Guck mal, hier ist der heilige, der heilige Kugelschreiber. Haben wir eigentlich sowas wie so eine, so eine, so eine, so eine Insignienkammer, wo wir sowas dann. Auch... Neun bestimmt. Ja? Man muss ja rein. So, so, so eine heilige Kammer, wo dann der heilige Kugelschreiber reinkommt. Den muss ich auch verwahren, da bin ich nicht verwirrt. Jetzt muss ich aber die Statues irgendwo unterschreiben. Jerry, unterschreibe ich die Statues. Was waren die Statues? Alex, du hast, du hast das ja schon vorhin unterschrieben. Okay, nee, Fast alles. Super. Fast alles. Hervorragend. Ja, ja. Hervorragend. Okay. Ja, du kannst auch noch mal so los sein, du unterschreibst und ich mache noch mal ein Foto. Ich habe jetzt nur alles gefilmt. Hast also, du meinst aber auch so ein Fake-Foto? Ja, wir machen noch mal ein Fake-Foto. Ich, ich, ich höre jetzt auf zu filmen, weil der Akku auch leer ist, und dann machen wir noch mal ein Fake-Foto. Ja, dann machen wir noch mal ein Fake-Foto. Okay. <lacht> Merci,